And I, when people try to tell me, you know, that just the color of your skin can disadvantage you. I mean, I was disadvantaged, sure, but it wasn't because of the color of my skin. It was because of decisions that my parents made. Trick, which they fell short of. What did Obama do that that dr drove backed up this the, race the police discussion. the police violence stuff? He backed up we the myth back the up myth the police of police. Wrong. It's the myth of the police, police brutality. I'm not done. If he, they're wrong, he, he, right. he added fire. Mm -hmm. He added gasoline to a fire that was simply untrue. The the myth of police brutality as something that was a problem facing the myth of, the police, myth of police, police brutality. Maybe it's me. Maybe I live in a bubble. As an African American woman in this country, some things that I'm actually afraid of are the education system and the prison system. These are two institutions that actually do systematically oppress and disadvantage African Americans. I mean, I was disadvantaged, sure, but it wasn't because of the color of my skin, it was because of decisions that my parents made. These are two institutions that actually do systematically oppress and disadvantage African Americans. First and foremost, stop selling us our own oppression. Stop taking away our self-confidence by telling us that we can't because of racism, because of slavery. I've never been a slave in this country. Candace Owen, that rotten bitch. She's the worst. I can't think of a worse way to make money. She's the most articulate idiot I've ever seen in my fucking life. She's so articulate, she can tell you how fucking stupid she is precisely. I have a question. When you say make America great again, which period are we talking about? The period when women couldn't vote? The period when we were hanging from trees? I'll answer. Or, or, or like the crack era? Which period in America are you trying to make I, America I would, like so again? So I, I actually think that I would, I would totally rock a hat right now that said make black America great again. Because black no, America, make America before, we talking that's about make America. America. Before, that wasn't the question. I, answer, I am answering Which your question. Which period was America great that we're trying to replicate? Well, I, Which era was it? Tell me. I think I'll answer your question. Tell I'm me. I'm ready to answer your question. Which era was it? What? Which era was so great? You, here's the thing that you guys are forgetting. America was actually one of the first... Slavery was all over the world. The all question. over the world. America Man, was... I'm not, I'm not saying it's okay, so why are you saying, oh? Amen. America I was one of the first to countries. To I want to like you so bad. I'm trying you're to answer so your question. Smart. I want right, to like you so if much. I can't answer the I question. I want to hear you. I want to be able to hear them. If, 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 I want to be I able to hear them. If I can't answer the question and you're just going to boo when I say a, a slavery was all over the world, which is a fact, why are you booing a fact? Because, because you're boring. making light of. No, I'm not. You're making light I of haven't the gotten into my points. I'm not making of people that look like us. You can't all make right. light of that. That ain't nothing you breathe over. I haven't even over. finished the sentence. How am I making light of anything? You started with some bullshit. Okay. Now, let me tell you what's even worse to experience here is watching Candace Owen, that black woman, take down another black woman. That, to me, is despicable. Even though we don't like either of them, she could easily. Why don't you attack a white woman of some sorts? Why don't you attack Megan Kelly or somebody who's who's attacking other black women? Why are you taking another black woman down? I think it's, it's, it's just deployable and it's unexcusable. She would never do that. She only goes after black people and she always points out our flaws and what's wrong with us. And she's like, and you know what the, the sad thing is? She's really articulate and she's intelligent. So when she packages her dirty, mean ass message, it sometimes sounds believable to people. They're like, makes sense. Right. You know what I mean? I, I can't tell you how many racist white people, Trump supporters have come to me thinking that they're gonna bond with me over, you know, I really like Candace Owen thinking I'm going to support her because she's a black woman. Mm -hmm. She's black on the outside. You are acknowledging that what we're talking about is not has nothing to do with with racial differences or racial disparities. Right. There are disparities and there are privileges that are afforded, but it has nothing to do with the color of our skin. You can have the same exact privileges if you make the same the same exact behavioral um, decisions. And you were playing the role of your parents being outraged that you're a conservative. Yes, it's so amazing. It makes me so sentimental. I mean, look, a year ago, I was a girl on YouTube with the dream, an idea, um, a hope that maybe I could wake up the black community to, into understanding that we've been voting for policies that have destroyed our families. I could never have imagined mm. that it would lead to me meeting the president, meeting the first family, having lunch with, with Laura and Eric, uh, Kanye West, uh, getting 
rush out of restaurants by Antifa. It's been Meeting an amazing... Meeting with Kanye West. <laughs> right. I mean, amazing. You could right? do without the Antifa part. Right. Right. Exactly. It's been an amazing year. I'm so grateful to everyone that's followed me, that's supported me, to Turning Point USA, to Charlie Kirk. Um, it's been such a blessing. And guess what? We're just getting started. So, Well, Good Candace, start. they Turning Point hired you to do urban engagement, and you sure <laughs> did. And the thing is this. The fact that she felt comfortable even vocalizing something like that showed you how screwed up and fucked up Turning Point is. I just have to say that I object strenuously to your use of the word hilarious. Um, to me, this feels a lot like your reaction to being named in one of these manifestos. Now, you're of course not responsible for the words of somebody writing that document. But I do think that laughing at it is a real problem because these are real families that are impacted by this violence. And I think our efforts towards talking about this have to start from a place of mutual respect which is what I've heard from, from this side of the table. Now, the reason we don't have those numbers, I want those numbers as much as you do, but the number, to say the numbers don't show something is simply not supported by the data. Okay, and I have 38 seconds left, Ms. Mulligan, if you, can, if you want to respond within that time. The only thing I would add is that um, it's in the name, terrorism, domestic terrorism, it terrorizes us. It terrorizes us in our homes. It terrorizes us in our schools. Um, and, the, and to the points made by, uh, by the other panelists, it is disproportionate um, to its impact on any individual life. And it's not. You reject the idea it's something that doesn't matter or doesn't really matter. Absolutely reject. OK. All right, so here's where we are. Every, every member now has had five minutes in. Okay, and Mr. Clay, so we have two members who have not, so I'm going to go to the two you, members who have not yet, and, and, then, you, and, and, and we'll give an opportunity for a closing thought to any member who wants before we go. Am I next to respond, or is Mr. Meadows? I thought Mr. Meadows was Mr. next. Mr. Meadows, okay. Mr. Meadows is next, then Mr. Clay, then to you, Mr. Jordan. Uh, Ms. Owens, obviously this is a gang up on you. You know, we, we're, we're giving uh, these witnesses the ability to do a rebuttal on you, and so, um, you know, I, I find it unfair. You are acknowledging that what we're talking about is not has nothing to do with, with racial differences or racial disparities. Right. They are disparities and they are privileges that are afforded, but it has nothing to do with the color of our skin. You can have the same exact privileges if you make the same, de same exact behavioral um, decisions. Ms. Ballou, I mean, you know, candidly for you to show mutual respect and then you to go after Ms. Owens, it's not appropriate. So Ms. Owens, you can have four minutes and 34 seconds to respond, however you, you yield thought. for a second? I'll, I'll yield to the... Thank you. Uh, I believe, Ms. Owens, when you used the word hilarious, it was, in, it was referencing the fact that no one had asked you a question. It wasn't to the subject matter of the hearing. Is that right? That is correct. And for ha to have another witness insinuate something that is not accurate is just not appropriate, Mr. Chairman, for how witnesses are supposed to behave in front of this committee. I also think you didn't say it doesn't matter about the subject matter of today's hearing. You said there are other subjects that matter as well, and maybe we should spend some time on those. Is that accurate? That is correct, and they matter much, 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 much more. And I have said that. I said that in my opening, and I will say it again. You know that white supremacy and white nationalism is nowhere near, ranks nowhere near the top of the issues that are facing black America. Noah Cyrus calling Candace Owens a nappy ass hoe is exactly white liberal privilege. She sees this conversation going back and forth and decides to jump into it and refer to me as a nappy ass hoe. Um, who, who is giving these white liberals permission to go around using slurs and saying this sort of stuff? when they disagree with the black conservative who doesn't hold their privileged worldview. You are acknowledging that what we're talking about is not has nothing to do with, with racial differences or racial disparities. Right. They are disparities and they are privileges that are afforded, but it has nothing to do with the color of our skin. You can have the same exact privileges if you make the same, de same exact behavioral um, decisions. They're allowed to be racist as long as they're racist to the right kind of black person, right? So I'm a black conservative. Noah Cyrus calling Candace Owens uh, a nappy ass hoe and referred to me as a nappy ass hoe is exactly white liberal privilege. I think it's pretty apparent that uh, Mr. Lou believes that black people are stupid and will not uh, pursue the full clip in its entirety. He purposely presented an extract, an extracted witness, clip. The witness absence. will suspend for a moment. It is not proper to refer disparagingly or with, to a member of the committee. Uh, the witness will not do that again. Witness may continue. 
Sure, even though I was called despicable. Um, Witness may not refer to a member of the committee as stupid. I didn't refer to him as stupid. That's not what I said. That's not what I said at all. You, you didn't listen to what I said. But it has nothing to do with the color of our skin. You can have the same exact privileges if you make the same, the same exact behavioral um, decisions. May I continue? Wait, please. As I said. Of all the people that Republicans could have selected, they picked Candace Owens. I don't know Miss Owens. I'm not going to characterize her. I'm going to let her own words do the talking. So I'm going to play for you the first 30 seconds of a statement she made about Adolf Hitler. I agree. I, I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets, uh, the definition gets poisoned um, by elitists that actually want globalism. Globalism is what I, what I don't want. So when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in, at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. Problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German. All right, so my uh, first question is to Ms. Hershenoff. Ms. Owen said, quote, if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. So when people try to legitimize Adolf Hitler, does that feed into white nationalist ideology? I received word on my way in that many of the journalists were confused as to why I was invited, and none of them knew uh, that I myself uh, was the victim of a hate crime when I was in high school. But it has nothing to do with the color of our skin. You can have the same exact privileges if you make the same, the same exact behavioral um, decisions. At the conclusion of the movie, I noticed that I had four missed voicemails, and when I went to listen to them, I was horrified by what I would discover. I heard four male voices and they were alternating. They were sometimes screaming, they were sometimes laughing, they were even at certain points singing. And here are a few excerpts of some of the things that were being said to me. If there's a way to summarize it, in short, they told me that they were going to kill me. They told me things like they were going to tar and feather my family, that they were going to put a bullet in the back of my head as they had done to Martin Luther King. Um, they told me in so many words that I better not be home. I was absolutely traumatized and in terms of action, I didn't really do much. But it has nothing to do with the color of our skin. You can have the same exact privileges if you make the same, the same exact behavioral um, decisions. It's like we're all racist towards our own selves. Nobody wants us dead more than we want ourselves dead. I mean, there are, what, 6,000 Klansmen left in our nation. You want me to actually process that as a legitimate fear every day when I wake up? I was absolutely traumatized. And in terms of action, I didn't really do much.